Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be looking at the analysis phase in the SDLC. What is analysis? It refers to breaking a hole into its past. And the reason as to why you are breaking a hole, we are going to understand in a short while what we mean when we say breaking a hole. Eh? But the reason as to why you are breaking something is so that you are in a position to understand the parts, nature, the functions, and the relationships. So in this given case, what we are saying is that you have a problem that uh, you need to address. And so for you to be in a position to know how to address it, you need to break it down so that you are in a position to know what causes it. Now, analysis is performed through three steps. So the first step is that you need to understand what's the existing situation. In other words, what is the as-is system? So before we propose of any improvements, we need to understand what's the existing situation. Take an example of uh, an attendance system. So before you introduce improvements, maybe whether you need to bring about a biometric kind of uh, attendance, we need to understand currently how is the attendance happening. So when you're talking of breaking a hole, it means we need to understand this whole process of attendance. So we want to know how is the attendance done, who carries out the attendance, how frequent is the attendance done, and so on and so forth. And it's from that that we can actually identify improvements and from those particular improvements is when we are able to define what we refer to as the requirements. So the requirements are the things that we would want to be incorporated in the systems that we are supposed to build. So we use uh, the following example. Let's take a scenario that uh, the problem identified is that uh, the new system to be designed is supposed to eliminate inventory stockout. So that's what the client needs. The client needs a system that should help them eliminate the inventory stockout. Now, for you to be in a position to address this, we need to do what we refer to as analysis. Now, the analysis we have said that you have to carry out it within the three steps because we need to break down that, eliminate inventory stockout. That's not very clear. We need to understand what brings about the stockout and so on and so forth. So from the three steps, the first step we have said that you need to understand the existing situation. So we would want to know in respect to inventory, what is happening? In other words, we need to understand what are the circumstances that are resorting to the stockout. And when you now begin to dig into it, you realize that uh, the supply orders, they are not placed in a timely way. So you are somewhere now, you are now trying to understand what results to the stockout. It's because one of it is that uh, the supply orders are not placed in a timely way. And then you even go an extra mile and you, you seek to know what makes the supply orders not be placed in a timely way. In other words, what are these issues that are resulting to this particular circumstance? And you realize that uh, the inventory levels they are only updated once a week. Number two, you realize that there are delays that normally occur when you are trying to identify who is the best supplier who can actually bring you the items. And you equally realize that there are delays that normally take place before the approval happens for us to make a, to make a requisition for, for stock. So, you can see that uh, we now have an idea of what is the existing situation. The next thing that now we need to look at is the improvements. So the improvements is what we need to do. So the improvements that needs to happen so that we are able to address the situation at hand, which is to eliminate inventory stockout, the improvements are actually be the things that will be incorporated in the to be system. In other words, there will be the requirements for the new system. So the client now wants a system that should be in a position to update the on-hand inventory levels twice per day. Instead of now once every week, we now want it to happen twice per day. 
The other thing is that the client wants a system that is able to give what if it was an out of stock notification so that we don't want a scenario where stock uh, ends without us getting to know. So the system should give us an out of stock notification. We also want a system to have a recommended supplier so that we do not have delays trying to identify who is the best supplier who can bring us the items. The next thing, instead of us having to worry about the approvals, we want the system to produce a supply purchase order that should be automatically sent to the manager for approval. And then the system should send the approved purchase order to the supplier via an electronic communication. This could be an email and so on and so forth. So from the above example, you are going to see that I dig into the situation so that you can be able to understand what's the existing situation, what are the improvements to be done, and what new requirements are supposed to be developed. And so, to be in a position to do the above, like what we have just seen in the example about the elimination of the inventory stockout, to be in a position to know what are the circumstances, what are the issues that result to those particular circumstances, there are a number of techniques and tools which we are the ones that we are going to be learning in the next uh, lesson that help an analyst to be in a position to understand the existing situation to be in a position to know which are the improvements that are needed and to be equally in a position to know which requirements are needed thank you and i look forward to seeing you in the next lesson